Hello, my Miss Percibles. So I am back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm doing a what's in my bag video. And I just wanted to do a redo of this baby. So I have been in this bag. I haven't worn this bag since the last time. I probably did a what's in my bag on it, which was probably over a year and a half ago, maybe. Yes, that's the last time I wore this bag. During this break that I have been having, I have been, like I said, I've been getting into old bags. And I've been enjoying the carry of this bag. It's time for me to get out because I've been in her for over a week. Almost two, two. Yeah, it's been over a week. And I normally don't stay in the bag no longer than two to three days. <laughs> so, I wanted to do a... Uh, What's in my bag on her? But first, I want to address some things because I'm not going to call anyone's name out. For some reason, I spoke about, you know, the whole thing of YouTube. And I just want to say this. And I'm not going to say her name. <clears throat> but I was told that my bags are fake. And a bag that I did... Years ago, that I did a what's in my bag on also, that I didn't even, wasn't able to even do a unboxing on because it was already unboxed before I started YouTube. Also, was told that that bag was fake. Most of my bags, I try to do unboxings on, as you have seen, since I've been doing YouTube. So, if it was one of my beginning videos that I, it, it probably was a bag that was already unboxed and I just did a what's in my bag on it. I attached some things on the inside of the bag. And I was told also that some of my bags. <laughs> this is so crazy to me because I have no problem with replicas at all. But if I have a replica, I would say I have a replica. I also had a Louis Vuitton um, key holder that I also said that was a replica in a video of a what's in my bag video. I don't know which video it was. I would say if it's true or not. Um, <clears throat> the bag that I, that one of the main bags that she, the person was referring to was a gift to me. So, I mean, it's your approach on things, you know. I have no problem with you telling me something. It's your approach. Don't just come on over here and tell me my bags are fake. <laughs> That's so not true. But anyway, I spend so much money on bags. I have so many bags. And I feel like that's the reason why some people are mad. I'm just going to call it what it is. People are mad at you if you're doing good or if you're doing bad. And when people are doing and living in their own misery, it loves company. Don't bring me down with you because you won't. You won't steal my joy. So any negative thing, all the negative stuff, if you want to do all that, don't do that over here. Because ain't nothing but positive vibes and good energy over here. Praise God. And we're going to keep it moving. So I'm going to do a what's in my bag on this baby. I just love the carry of this bag. I ha Like I said, I haven't worn this in a while. So on the outside of the bag, I just have some... Um, my, two of my acrylic chains on the side. And then I have my Victoria's Secret locket charm on there. Oh, wait. I'm not, I'm not doing, I have my Victoria's Secret locket charm on there. And I just have my little um, poof ball. I can't remember if I got this from Sheen or Amazon. I'm not sure. But that's what I have on here. On the outside of this bag, it does come with two side pockets. And it comes with um, draw screens to adjust adjust it, but I never do. I, I never use them. I just always left it as is anyway, and I never use these pockets because I notice I normally use this bag when I have to put my iPad in here because my it has the cushion zipper compartment in the middle. But I notice that if you put anything in here, this this it it does this, so I don't ever use it. But anyway, this is the overview of the bag. 
and let's get into it so in the middle con zipper compartment i don't have anything in there like i said i only use it for my ipad really so i'm gonna go to these outside pockets and on the outside pocket i have some floss in one of them and I have a pen in the other, my Kate Spade pen. Over here, what's this? It's just the Michael Kors pamphlet. And over here, I just have some receipts. What's this? Okay, so this is the receipt to the bag. And it was $212.93 for the bag. That's, that's with taxes and everything. <clears throat> and this back zip compartment. Um, I don't have anything but some coach receipts. I don't know what I I don't know what those receipts are too. What I got. This bag has this, and I have my work keys attached to it. And then I have my key case in there. I have the wallet, the matching wallet. I don't know if you guys remember me doing the unboxing of this, but go ahead. I will drop that video in the description box below so you can go back and check out the unboxing of this bag. And I will also drop the video to the first what's in my bag on this. It was a little raggly, <laughs> but um, this is the matching wallet and I won't open it up because my cards are in here, but this is how it is. This is the ballet multi color pink. Um, the bag and the wallet. I also have oh, blow me down. Um, I have my coach Jamie Wristlet in here in a strawberry haze color, and I got this on the oh, what sale was that? <sighs> I can't even remember, but <laughs> I can't remember what sale I got this from, but I know I only paid, I think about $17 for it. It had went down to 40 something dollars, I believe with the sale, the 20% off sale. And I had a, 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 a gift card as well $20 20 or $25 gift card so out of pocket I only paid $17 for this wristlet when I got it it did come a little it was just thrown in the packaging it had no wrapping or anything it does have a dent right there as you can see it's very dented up and I can't seem to get that dent out of there and it came from it was shipped from a store but <laughs> coach you know they good at they have the best customer service so you know anyway i in here i have my puro hand sanitizer i have my tide pen i have my um uh, strawberry pound cake hand sanitizer i like to have both you guys i feel like i'm really getting sanitized with this one and even though yeah this is a hand sanitizer i feel like this giving more of a good smell behind it i have my earbuds in there I have my lip gloss in there from Bath and Body. I have a lighter. I have my perfume bottle, Midnight, um, Midnight Amber Glow, yes. And then I have my um, Berry Waffle Cone Hand Lotion. I don't know why I didn't switch that out yet because I don't care for the smell. I have a Singles Purell Hand Sanitizer that's not supposed to be in there. I have a Feminine Wipe. And one of my bag cleaning wipes. And this is how the inside of it looks. It's just the care instructions in there. And it does come with two card slots, which I'm not using. So right now, I'm just basically using this as my catch-all. On the opposite side of the bag, 
I have my Coach Mini Rowan Charm. And what color was this? I can't remember the color of this. Uh, candy Pink. The Candy Pink. And in here, I have my pill case. I have a lipstick from Fashion Nova. I have my lip lip balm. I have my spray optimizer perfume. And I have a singles pure oil hand sanitizer, which the other one was supposed to be in here. And I have my Michael Kors wristlet. Let's put this back in there. I have the Michael Kors wristlet. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the tag. Um, oh, and I dropped it. Okay, so I'm back. Here we have, it is called the Jet Set Charm Medium Wristlet, and the color is in rose. And the retail price is the price that was actually paid for it, which is $98. And it's a nice size wristlet. So this wristlet does have a back slip compartment, which I'm not using. You can use this as a um, little on-the-go pouch wristlet. I mean, you know, just to go. It does come with a wrist, a removable scrap. Removable turn lock scrap. I love the feature of being able to move scraps off of little items like the no leaders, wristlets, and stuff. Uh, this is one of my pet peeves, not being able to remove the whole scrap. It's like, why do I only get the option to remove one side? I know you're supposed to be able to, you know, carry it like, oh, uh, can you? like this but it only would look cute if it was on a chain i felt like i don't know maybe that's just me maybe that's just me but this is the wristlet and i just have some gum in here my portable charging cable the portable charger and my flashlight and I have, it has a, a slip compartment. Here comes the Karen Scrushing card. And I have just basically my membership cards and stuff in there because it comes with six card slots. So this is a little pouch right here. With the, I mean, it's a little slip area right here. And then you have the main area right there. And then you get a back slip compartment. The whole town's laughing at me. All right, that's that. Silly fool, how'd you lose such a good thing? I love oldie goldies, y'all. I just really do. I'm a, a, I'm a, a 70s baby at heart. <laughs> For real, I love me some old, old school music. Some Al Green, The Temptations, stuff like that. Anita Baker. All right, so that's the, it for the what's in my bag. That's everything. On this baby. And I just want to tell you guys, so I know y'all always hear me get quiet. <laughs> probably like, she always get? That's because I'll be looking at the time to see where I'm at. If you hear me get quiet, that's just all. That's all that is. 
Anyway, I want to tell you guys to remember, remember, remember to always, always bless someone else. And remember that when you're down to nothing, God is always up to something. Now you smile and be blessed. Also, I want to say this about the the person that was, you know, hating on me or whatever. I told my son because it kind of did discourage me. And this is my reason for br- taking a break. My oldest son, he told me this. He say, and this is a message for anybody, for everybody out there. My oldest son, he say, I told him what the lady said that all my bags, are, my, that my bags are fake. And he said, what you at right now, mama? I said, I'm at about 1,600 subscribers. He said, well, how you going to take it if you ever reach 5,000, 50,000, 100K? He said, because they going to come. And he said, as you get up there, it gets worse. This is so true. And I just, because when it made me feel some type of way, like it kind of bothered me, you know, what she's, what she said. It's like, and it was right the day before Thanksgiving. So I was like, you know, I think people just live in their own misery. So, you know, people have to bring, try to bring you down on their level. And it kind of discouraged me. But when my son said that, because I was thinking of taking a little break when my son said that, I said, you know what? He is so right. If I can't handle if I can't handle the the hardship of it right now at just 1600 what I'm going to do when I really get up there and it's a whole bunch of people cuz as the, the more the more I won't say fame, but the more you get the more subscribers you get, the basically the more fame the more the haters you're going to have. So it's always going to be somebody that just don't like something about you, that probably don't even like your growth. It ain't nothing that you're doing that's wrong. It's everything that you're doing that's right. So I just wanted to leave that message out there for whoever is trying to do this. Don't let nobody discourage you because the trolls will come. <laughs> they will come and they will try to break you. But you can't let nobody break you. Baby, my block game is strong. <laughs> so I don't need the mess because I'm not getting paid enough to take the to take the bull crap. So that is just a message to anybody out there like who is doing YouTube and having to deal with all of that. Don't let it break you. If it gets to the point where it does break you, it, yes, it is time to leave. But don't let, you can't let these people come in and one person tear down what you built up. I wasn't going to let that one person, you know, I don't had different comments, even from certain YouTubers have said, you know, little slick things before, you know. Basically, you're not nothing like that, but mm, another coach bag, you know, stuff like little slick remarks. I have had that, but I have been doing this for about two years now. Well, a year or so, and it's been a lot of work put into this. So I wasn't going to let one person discourage me from moving forward with my channel. I have so many loyal people that are YouTubers themselves or just subscribers that are still supporting me, still very nice people, very friendly, loving people. So, you know, some people want what you have, so they will try to bring you down to their level of where they're at. And I'm not looking down on anyone, but sometimes people will just judge you off the things you have. Oh, she got all these bags, or she got all this, she thinks she all of that. No, I very baby, I'm very humble. Very humble. 
okay and very appreciative and thankful for everything that i do have because i came a long way and you don't even know my story so don't judge me but anyway i want to tell you guys once again to remember 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 to always always bless someone else and remember that when you're down to nothing god is always up to something now you smile and be blessed bye